This is my hoo-ha. It's a um, hang glider plane. Um, it was made and given to me by Pilot Mike as Christmas present. And you can see we got the hang glider material on top here. And uh, if you ever make one of these, make sure at the field you always lay it down like that. I made the mistake of having it right side up, getting it ready, turn my back for a second, and blew right off the bench. <clears throat> so, as this here, keep it from getting banged up because it almost always seems to want to nose over when you're landing. Um, you can see right here where it broke right here from a high wind. I just kind of, I just put a split, spun on it with some epoxy. And uh, see we got a little piece of wood here, balsa here, balsa here, and then cross beam. <coughs> and then support beam here, and then here, just a piece of wood here. And then um, there's no rudder. The uh, ailerons move independently, kind of like a duck feet. Exit, turn left and right. Get the little wheels. This small engine with uh, got it kind of pointing down. Um, Mike said this made it more stable. And then. Battery, just Velcro's on right here, all the way up to the wires. It's just a 1300 three cell. With that, you can fly a good 10, 15 minutes. Maybe even longer if you're gliding around a lot. And we have the receiver here, ESC here, two servos for the elevators. See, they're independent like duck feet. They will go opposite ways and then also act as an elevator by both going up and down together. Got a big wind at the airfield and uh, blew her off the table, scuffed her up a little bit. And uh, broke one of the elevators broke off. Had to glue it back on, and I had to splint that, that support right there. I need to sand that a little bit more. That now that I've glued it, needs a little bit of sanding. But this is a really fun thing to fly. It um, does flips really cool, like. You get it up high and just nose it over and just let it keep flipping, flipping. And then it just don't get it too low to the ground and it'll correct itself. Um, you, you can get it up a little bit and gun it and then do a roll. Um, you do have to power management it to, um, otherwise it'll just keep going up. Um, so you, you, you take off and get it up and then you bring the throttle back maybe about 50% or less you know just cruise around but then you, know, you give it a little bit of, of throttle in order to do a roll or um, or loop but if you want to, just want to do a nose over flip then you want to cut the throttle a little bit and just nose it over and hold it hold a stick forward until you know you get done doing your rolls just let it go and then it'll correct itself with a little bit of help uh, it's a pretty cool little scratch build, and uh, thanks to Mike for uh, making this for me for Christmas. This is Love RC.